Hello world! Discord is potentially being used in demonic ways to not only spread malware, but also to act as command and control servers, acting as a base of operations for Black Hat's intent on stealing your credentials. That's coming up in this video where I break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. So it would seem some malware mobs have recently been utilizing Discord in an attempt to spread their pernicious programs, not necessarily spreading malware within Discord itself, but rather using Discord's CDN to host their files. Idea being, when you upload a file to Discord, right click and copy link, you get a nice little URL like this. Black Hats really, really like these links because they have Discord's domain name right there at the beginning of the URL. This lends the link a hell of a lot of credibility with not so tech savvy individuals. A good chunk of people will mistakenly attribute a good amount of trust simply because it has Discord in the name and happily click download and execute whatever sneaky surprise is contained within. In particular, these malevolent links have been spread via forums, emails, etc. The links are often disguised as cracked versions of games, though encapsulated within will usually be ransomware, or given gamers tend to have pretty highly specced computers, a sneaky Monero mining bot might be hidden within. Exactly what you get is like a game of Russian roulette, though every chamber has a round, just with varying degrees of awfulness. Also, something to note, even if you delete a file you've sent on Discord, that download link will still work in perpetuity. Files seem to stay on Discord servers forever, even when deleted within Discord itself. In response to these revelations, Discord said, Discord relies on a mix of proactive scanning and reactive reports to detect malware and viruses on our service. Once we become aware of these cases, we remove the content immediately. Yeah, okay, standard response using a lot of words without really managing to say all that much at all. Though in fairness, there's not really much they can do, apart from ban sharing executables and anything that could contain them, like zips, which would, which would be really annoying. Please don't do that, Discord. Another alternative would just be to disable the ability to extract these links from Discord itself. If this problem gets real bad, my bet is that they'll do this. Anyway, this isn't the first time Discord has been used for such devilish deeds. A few months ago, researchers discovered Discord was being used by the abandoned malware to act as a command and control server, meaning that computers infected with malware would connect to a rogue Discord server where they would be fed malicious commands. The logic behind this was manifold. Firstly, malicious commands being sent to a victim in this way would be indistinguishable from regular Discord traffic. It would be very hard, if not impossible, for antivirus or a, or a firewall to discern between your sending you bad memes, and a command telling a victim computer to send on over all of your saved passwords, simply because Discord traffic is all encrypted. Also, Discord is free to use and quick to set up. This all makes it a very attractive choice for Black Hats to use as a base of operations, coupled with the fact that they need some system to act as a command and control server anyway. Why bother going through the hassle of setting up your own when Discord is already free to use, and doing so helps to blend in with a victim's pre-existing traffic. The abandoned malware is designed to steal Steam credentials, saved passwords, cookies, credit card information, etc. It's very early days when it comes to using Discord in such devious ways. At the time of making this video, Abaddon seems to be the only rat making use of Discord. As such, I couldn't really find much of a response from Discord themselves on this matter, though if this does become a more widespread problem, I'm sure Discord will at least try to mitigate this in some way. After all, this is awful press. This is really bad press for Discord. So what can you do to help protect yourself from the misuse of Discord? Firstly, don't blindly trust files that are hosted by Discord. That, that one's easy. Though, when it comes to Abaddon and other similar malware harnessing Discord to phone home to the mothership, that's a more complicated question to answer. The researchers suggest, and I'll have their full write-up linked below by the way, they suggest blocking Discord's domains as a preventative measure. However, if you actually use Discord, which if you've gotten this far in the video you probably do, then obviously don't do this as it'll break Discord for you. In which case, there is no obvious answer. Sorry. However, what is obvious is that Maltronics.com has an array of super cool pen testing products. Whether you're a hobbyist or penetration tester, our tools are a lot of fun to play with. It's run by myself and you can find out more at the link in the description. If you want to see more of this kind of video, make sure to let me know by hitting like, subscribe and do turn on those sub notifications so you don't miss any juicy cyber news. Also, for behind the scenes footage, do follow me on Instagram. And as always, sources will be linked in the description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos. Have a good one.